fourth at home. And how about the lineup Eric Fetty's face this year. He's faced the Yankees twice. He's got the Red Sox today. Last start he good hitting. Passed up Gene Segura. He's at 336 and he's going to add to that. Bryce has to get over field it quickly and return it and it's a leadoff single. Start on the 29th against the Yankees gave up five runs on seven hits over six to walk two, struck out two. So Adam in two strike mode and he can't reach the breaking ball Rodriguez. And Trey Turner is going to take him right back up the middle. Almost a carbon copy of his leadoff hit in the first last night. One and two. Staying back on that ball and dropping it in front of Bryce Harper is Rafael Devers because they're one pitcher short today from last night. Well Bob they're a couple pitchers short from where they were just a couple days ago than that. That's a swing. Diving down and away. So Rodriguez strikes out each leadoff hitter field and everything so far has been away. There's another strikeout. Swing and a miss. Turner right back up the middle. He's making a living there. Third consecutive hit. Straight away. He's aboard with two outs for Anthony Ren. Yeah. J.D. Martinez. That's why this guy's hitting 325. Bryce Harper digs it out of the corner. He is some kind of hitter. He's loose. He's relaxed. And sometimes we say guys like that when they're a little bit fatigued. Lately, five, six, six, seven, six, and nine. Three, two. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Leagues aren't differentiated from each other anymore. Well, that's nasty. This many pitches, but they're all kind of the same speed. Trying to beat one out, the Nats catcher. Severino safe, ball gets away. He's going to have to hustle to second. Head first, safe there as well. Ball driven to right. Mookie bets two for three today. Like he was going. Got him. Jordan Baker thought about that for a while. Deep short and Trey Turner can't knock it down. Bets to third. Quite an A.B. for J.D. Martinez. Do today and Ryan Madsen the 37 year old takes over. And this ball drilled out to left center. Unable to get it Taylor. Ball caroms off the triangle out there and comes right back to Michael A. So a double for Devers. He's going to do it with a base hit on one hop to Bryce Harper. Bryce takes a shot at third. It was cut off by Turner. First and third. Nobody out. Bradley next. Madsen goes with the heater. Gets a pop up. This will be close. Grabbed by a sliding Adam Eaton runner coming home. And the ball gets away. He left early from third. And the ball gets away on ball four. Red Sox 2-0. Tonight. 28-year-old Matt Barnes. He drills one up the middle. Michael A, third hit of the series. Rounds first hard. Back to the bag and Defoe is next. Taylor is going to hold. Oh and Wilmer Defoe on a pitch up is going to be called out. He Highest scoring team to two runs you hope to have a shot. So we'll see how these last two frames. Three. Strike three he says Jordan Baker calls out Martinez is a lot bluer than it was several weeks ago after all the rain and all the flooding. You can see those tires. Swing and a miss on the off speed on the dirt. Yeah, he saw what happened on deck. He gets a fastball and 99s by him. Nats go one, two, three in. Somebody hollering in, 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 and Michael A. Taylor can't get to it.
runner going. And this ball in the right center. And that's not cut off. Boston's going to lead 3 0. It gets to the scoreboard, and Nunez will score. Big breaking ball. Swinging him. Two out walk. Pace is loaded. One more out to keep this a three run game into the bottom of the ninth. You never know. 2 1. Rendon gashing one up the middle. With the throw. One and two. First out, bottom of the. There's a guy who knows how to beat a shift. Great swing by Murphy. Nobody in the vicinity. Two, two outs. Two balls, two strikes. Wilmer Defoe pops it up. Having a look, Vasquez. Nats are swept by the Red Sox and shut out for the ninth time this year. The Boston Red Sox are now 59 and 29. The Nats have lost 17 of their last 22 and five in a row and try to get things straight tomorrow night when the Miami Marlins are here.